today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a little quick pass that you can do out of the Shotgun 5 wide to really help you uh, beat the blitz, but also be able to beat um, really just any coverage that you're going to face uh, from a 5 wide type of uh, defensive look. So if you've never been to my channel before, my name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, uh, my channel is devoted to helping you get better at Madden 21, and we do that through these daily tips and tricks that we post on our YouTube channel. We post on YouTube four times a day we're going to have our video right now it's going to go live at two o'clock and then we're going to have a video that goes live at four o'clock we're going to have a video that comes out at six and we're going to have a video that comes out at eight o'clock p.m eastern time so four videos for today and then the other thing that we're going to do for you guys is we live stream every single night on our youtube channel at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time so you can come right back to this channel tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time and catch us uh streaming live and playing with our uh, discord members now um, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd highly encourage you to do that. But if you haven't joined our Discord, our community Discord is a really, really good opportunity for you to be able to connect um, just at a deeper level with community. It's an app that you get on your phone. And basically, it's kind of like a, uh, essentially a chat room uh, community app. But um, um, anyways, if you have not already joined the Discord, there's a link in the description that can that you can click. That will allow you to join our Discord server where you can talk Madden pretty much 24-7 with myself, or you can talk it with the other members of our Discord server. We've got a lot of really good players over there and a lot of really good stuff uh, coming out of that server. So uh, anyways, what I wanted to do today was I wanted to talk a little bit about 5 wide. Now, I've been running, I've been messing around with 5 wide. I've been kind of having a, I would say that I have a love-hate relationship with 5 wide uh, this year. I think 5 wide is really good against zone this year. I really do. I think that where five wide, at least in my mind, can be a little bit challenging is when you run it against a press man-to-man -man look, and uh, specifically a press man-to-man -man look. And so well, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about that. And I'm in the nickel uh, package here, and I'm going to show you um, just, a, I think, a really good uh, defense for this. A, a lot of people will use this. But we're, we're just going to show you this. Um, and again, Dime 146, you know, I think you're going to get a lot of that. If you, if you come out in something like this, especially if you, even if you can audible from it with a back out there, you're still going to get Dime 146. But what we're going to show you right now is a 245 double A gap. Okay. And uh, we're going to come out in the mid blitz and then we're going to have the buck zone blitz in our audible so we can uh, access that, that really quickly as well. Now, um, this is a play that's really, really good against press man blitz because, again, that's what I'm running into. Uh, when I run five wide, that's the one defense that I feel like can give me a little bit of trouble, give me a little bit of a hard time. So uh, what you want to do is you want to have um, – I got the Packers loaded up here. And if you don't know about this, the Packers just signed – or they just updated the rosters. And so I'm going to have Aquanimus St. Brown in here. But on head-to-head uh, -head, – if you're using the Packers, you can get Tavon Austin there. Bottom line is you need route running and speed, wherever you can get it. Now, if you have to prioritize, my opinion is you want to have your best route runner on the left side of the field, which is going to be Devontae Adams, and then we're going to have Marcus Valdez scantling on the right side of the field. And actually, I'm going to actually, you know what? I'm going to flip that. I'm going to have Devontae Adams on the right, and I'm going to have Valdez scantling on the left because of the route I'm going to show you. Um, the audibles I have in my playbook are inside cross, Y corner, dig curl read, and Y cross flood. And then my bunch quads is spacing, inside post, spot, and bunch trail. Now, real quick before we jump into the into the play breakdown, I should tell you that this is from the Air Raid offense. Um, this is from my Arizona Cardinals offensive ebook, which if you want to get the full ebook, you can pick that up in the description of this video. Um, it's got my full air raid offense. It starts in the spread. It goes to five wide. We go to gun two back. We go to cluster. We go to gun doubles. I mean, we really get the most out of the Cardinals playbook, in my opinion, with our air raid offensive ebook, which you can pick up in the description. And like I said um, on other videos, this ebook is something that updates. It's also something that comes with the. Um, it also comes with my full defense as well. So my full 46 uh, defensive guy that has the 46 uh, formations, the 3-4 bear, the nickel normal, 3-3-5, nickel 3-3-5 wide, the dollar 3-2-6, all that stuff is in there, the big nickel over G as well. So um, if you want to get access to my entire scheme, uh, all you got to do is pick it up that at that ebook in the description. It's my Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. They're both together. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to talk about this play. So we're going to come out in the play double in. Um, you can, there's other plays here that we could look at. Like 
Um, why post is a good one that I actually really like um, out of this set. Stick, I think, ironically, like most people would, you know, kind of dismiss this play as being, you know, kind of a weird, you know, just not effective. Stick is really good because of the route that that hitch route is on. Um, that route will beat man and zone. Pretty much they're going to have to use her the right side, and if they use the right, obviously the left will be open. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to start with the play double in, okay? And this is what I've been seeing from this look right here, is I'll see something like this. They're going to man align, they're going to press, and then what they're going to do is they're going to run these guys right over, right over these guys right here. Now what I want you to watch here, and let me just get these guys over. Now what I want you to watch on this play is watch what happens. Um, just watch what happens to the outside guys. You see they get pressed. So they get pressed, and you can't throw the ball because the blitz comes in. There's six-man blitz, basically. Okay? So what that means is as the – and this is where – I really like five wide because of the spacing. And this is why, you know, this is why spread, in my opinion, is so powerful. If they do something like this, right, this is very, uh, inter you know, very popular. And then what they'll probably do is they'll use her, this guy in the middle of the field, and they're going to drop into the quick middle to take away anything quick that you might have. You have a play, uh, an opportunity on this play for a really, really good shot, um, a really, really good um, wide open touch there on this left side. What you'll notice is that's a wiggly fade. It's fading to the outside on the left. And so if you have a good wide receiver, just lob that up and click on, and you'll see that you can kind of swerve catch that against man-to-man. -man. And I'll tell you what, I can't tell you how many times I've thrown uh, touchdowns. Now, real quick, if they don't get the press, if they don't get the press on these guys, then everything is pretty much open, honestly. Seriously, if they don't press these guys, everything is open. With them pressing, though, um, it can make it a little bit tricky. That's why this route to Devontae Adams is also so important from double in. And what I like to do with this specific play right here is I like to use motion to basically create openings. And so all we're going to do is we're going to essentially turn this into a flood on the left side. So I'm going to take um, Aaron Jones and I'm going to put him on a flat. And then I'm going to motion Equanimous St. Brown to the right. You see that because they moved that player, um, he doesn't go with him. And then you can snap throw that. This is what the spread allows you to do. It's hard. It, it, it really forces alignment. And I'm telling you, I'm not kidding you. I played weekend league last night. We went six. I think we went seven and zero so far. We're going to continue tonight on our stream. But this is the look I got right here. And what people don't realize is when they move a player down like that, they're really not in a good position because what I can do, I just want you to watch. Um, I can motion this guy to the left, and if they re-man align, repress, you see that the player doesn't move. I re-man aligned on the defensive side of the ball, and I repressed, and they don't move. So now what he's in the position that he has to do is for the blitz to come in, he has to run straight down to hover over the center. So he can't just jump to Quantum of St. Brown at the snap of the ball. Right? Um so that's, that's where we can get into some alignment issues if they're pressing you. The rest of the story is this is a sound man beater. This, this little out, um, this deep in route that you can turn into an out route is very similar to what you see people doing from the play flood. So now what I want to do is I just want to show you a standard man aligned defense. And now what you can do within this gun spread and what you can do to attack it. Basically, you're watching the user. If the user goes to the right, you're throwing left. If it goes to the left, you're going right. Here he goes down right down the middle, so we're gonna low ball. Um, we're gonna low ball these these routes to the tight end. This is this is why spread, in my opinion, um, can actually be very viable against the blitz this year. If you watch here on this play, because they can't press the tight end and they can't press the quantum of St. Brown because you put them in motion, you can inside you can literally, and I don't know why he's missing this read or uh, missing this throw, but you can hit this route to uh Robert Tunyon, I'll just show you right here. Inside pass, you click on possession catch, and you're moving the you're moving the chains. That's 15 yards, 15 yards, 15 yards. And here's the deal. Um, I was I was listening to a uh, an interview about the air raid offense, and one of the things that he was saying, the this coach was saying, you don't have to go for the home run every play, right? Um, get them to stop blitzing first, and then go for the home run ball. And we'll show you how to do that in just a minute. 
because that's what this defense honestly that's what this defense right here is all about so you motion over you force the alignment issue obviously you want to snap in a relatively quick manner uh quick amount of time so that you can get this going now if they press obviously on the outside you still have these go routes if they're in press coverage against these go routes these go routes are going to force them to shake over the top because the first time that you beat them over the top with a go route, I'm telling you, they'll stop. I 100% believe in this strategy. And uh, and this is what I'm getting at. This is, again, Air Raid is all about attacking space on the field, attacking leverage. What we're basically doing with this motion is a very simple thing. It's nothing too complicated. But we're basically freeing up two of our receivers from press coverage. They can't press a tight end and they can't press a corner of St. Brown. If they do press, we're going to hit them. Uh, we're going to hit them. Uh, they're, they're not going to be able to because they have to move them down in this formation, right? They have to move them down in this formation. So now watch what's open here. You can throw, you can throw your quick out route, which again, when you say alignment, um, this is one of the things that I think five wide um, people, people misunderstand. So for example, if I wanted to take a running back here on this play, and I wanted to put him on a zig route and I motion him to the right, what you'll notice is he's going to come right into this position right here. Now, if you watch at the snap of the ball, you see that he's not going to get pressed. He's just going to get out and go. So another option that you can do, which is very, very simple, and doesn't, again, this is all about beating press coverage and it's all about beating press from the blitz. Because the user has to come down and he has to kind of make himself um, known by the offensive line, you can get this ball out to Aaron Jones quick on a drag. These little motions um, that you can do are actually really effective. Let me let me talk about another one really quickly from this. And this is again, this is just out of this empty base flex, which is in the I think it's empty base flex. Yeah, gun empty gun empty base. So if you watch uh, Jones on this play, this is press coverage. I want you to watch this right on the left. You see how he doesn't get pressed? He's unbumpable. You could actually throw that ball. Okay, that's a clean read uh, against man to man coverage as well. So understanding what's unbumpable, what's not unbumpable is really really important. Another thing that you could do, you'll notice here, if I motion uh, Valdez Scantling in, you see that they're going to kind of stack like this right here. If I take Jones and I put him on a flat route, what you'll notice here is it's just going to kind of um, glitch out the man coverage, and you could throw that right over the top. So those are some little tactics that you can use if people are showing you press man coverage. Another thing that you can do, and I've talked about it before, but it's really simple and it's really, really effective. Um, I like to do this out of um, the play Y corner. But basically what I'll do is I'll take um, I'll take Devontae Adams and I'll put him on a hitch. Or, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'll take Equanimous St. Brown. I'll put him on a flat route. And then I'm going to take Devontae Adams. I'm going to put him on a slant, and I'm going to motion him to the left side of the screen. Uh, and what you'll notice is if they're in man press, the man assignments are going to flip. They're not going to be able to be in press coverage. And then you can throw that slant route right there. Now, you might be saying, like I probably would be saying, well, if they run man-to-man – and they use her over the middle of the field, they're going to be able to stop the slant route. So what are you going to do? Just by getting these routes unbumpable, by getting these routes off the jam, that's the solution. Let me show you wide corner one more time. And we're going to run the same exact setup. The only difference is what we're going to do is we're going to take Jones and put him on a hitch. And if they're not going to be able to press people, that's going to make things a lot worse for them. And what you'll see here is this tight end, hard right pass lead. It's a man beater. Hard right pass lead is going to beat every man covered in the game. I've ran that with Chris Cooley. I've ran that with Vernon Davis. I've ran that with Darren Waller. I think I've ran that with Jermichael Finley back in the day. That route's going to win in Mutt, in Regs. It doesn't matter. Robert Tunyon is able to get open. Mercedes Lewis has been able to get open for me. So, so you have that option. And so what this starts to really do to your opponent is they can't really blitz you from man coverage, especially from this double in play. What you'll notice about this double in play with this motion right here, if he's in press coverage and he's bailing, the underneath stuff's going to be wide open. They can't come down on the blitz and get back on the post. It's it's impossible. There's not going to be able to get back on that because again, you've got to be. This is part of being an offensive player, though. You got to be a little bit sharp with your reads, and and um, that's part of it. But uh, I hope you see what I'm talking about. And this is what I wanted to show you really quickly. Another thing you could do. Let's say you're facing a six man blitz, right? Let's just say you're facing a six man blitz. If you notice these little motions that you can do. Um, these motions can actually change how things are going to happen. So, for example, if I motion Devontae Adams to the right, I'm going to snap the ball right here. And you notice now I pick up the blitz, and I'm able to read the defense and get get the ball to whoever I need to get the ball to. So you'll understand that. 
One other thing I did want to talk about really quickly on the press alignment, and we're going to have to back the ball up a little bit because you're not going to see it as much inside the 30, which is why you do get more press man uh, from this. From this, in my opinion, you're going to get more press man inside the 50 yard line. But um, if they've run press man on you, so this is an example of press man. I want you to watch uh, Devontae Adams on his route. What you'll notice is he gets a free release. Okay, now right there, the player actually played really, really well on that. It's not always the case. And so sometimes what I like to do out of this, it just all you need, and again, we want the press coverage. That's what we're looking for on the on these outside guys. All you need is these fades to burn them one time. I'm telling you right now, you just need them to burn them one time over the top, and and you're they will stop. I promise you. Um, and again, how do you get these fades to burn? You um, a couple things you could do. The first thing that you can do is block a guy to give you a little bit more, uh, just a little bit more time uh, in the pocket to be able to make that throw. Because it does take, you know, it does take a little bit. If they don't get an instant win animation right off the jam, it will take a little bit to get him, you know, kind of out where you need him to go. Another thing that you can do though, another thing that you can do though, is again, this is that press man to man coverage. We're assuming that they're using over the middle of the field. Another thing that you could do on this outside guy, just put him on a fade route. See, I'm going to hot route Devontae Adams to a fade, and what you'll see is now um, on both sides you've got these these um, these basically you know win or go home type of routes. Um, real quick, what you'll also notice on this, like let me say, let me show you one other thing. Let's say I put Devontae Adams on an out route. You see here, you're going to get off the jam right there. See that? See how he gets out the jam and the and the guy's able to play it. That's where I'm saying you have to have like if you if you're a mutt and you have a Chad Johnson and you have a um, a Tyree Kill like a Tyree Kill would be perfect for this. You would want Tyree Kill in my opinion on the right side in this formation. But basically, just put him on a fade, uh, not a fade, a streak, so that he gets off that jam, gets that instant win animation off the press. And it's a one play touchdown, especially if you have a good wide receiver out there. You're gonna get that more times than not. Um, at least with the way the game works this year. So you can use those little slants, those little zigs, those little uh, nicky nacky type of routes. You know, I really like this. Um, I really like this right here. You know, you're going to in route with a slant. You see they're not able to press on the outside. So I can low ball that in route right at that cut. And right at that cut point is where I can throw it. Another thing you can do, you see how this dig route is going about 15 yards. I can shorten it a little bit. So I could take that and turn that into a you know a little bit of a shorter dig, and again if they're press coveraging me on the outside, what you'll notice is okay I got the tight end I'll take the tight end. So you have reads for press man. What that's going to then lead them to do is it's going to get them out of the blitz, and they're going to go to some type of coverage defense uh, from this. So they're going to go to something like this: two men under purples. How do you beat two men under purples? This is cover one hole. I want to show you really quickly. Inside cross, it's going to be the same exact motion when you were motioning him over on a slant, except this time he's going on a shot play. He's going up the field, and he's going to try to make something happen vertically against that defense on that little motion over S route. you got plenty of time in the pocket, and it's just pass lead that up, and as you can see, it's going to beat man-to-man -man coverage right over the top for a one-play touchdown. So that right there is the chess match that you play with the blitz, but in my opinion, um, you're still able to be on top of things uh, all across the board with that five wide. So uh, actually really having a lot of fun with this scheme. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I've got to play it against some more uh, dominant competition and see kind of how it stacks up. But so far, uh, at least right where we sit right now, this is a really, really, I think, viable option this year. So check out the five wide. If you haven't picked up the ebook on it, we go into a ton more de depth of detail. We also show you how to use the rest of the Arizona playbook as well to really complement not just this five wide, but also everything else you can do from it. And there's a lot of stuff you can do from the Arizona Cardinals playbook in this year's game. So I'd highly encourage you to pick it up. One of the guys texted me. He said, I won him over $200 in money games uh, using our eBooks. So uh, I would highly encourage you, if you haven't picked up the eBook yet, to go ahead and do that. That link is in the description for you. Also, if you haven't joined my text message membership yet, it's completely free to join the text message membership. All you got to do is text me. My number is 812-216-3644. And every single week, we release exclusive tips 
and guides, mini guides on formations and schemes in 921. We've released a gun bunch guide, a um, uh, big nickel over G guide. We've released a Minnesota Vikings playbook guide. We've released a cluster uh, guide. So if you want to get access to that content, you get all six videos as soon as you text in. My number is 812 216 3644. So be sure to shoot me a text. Other than that, guys, we will see you um, on our stream tonight at 10 o'clock. And make sure you check out the rest of the videos. Again, they'll go live at 4 o'clock. 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Text me if you have any questions at all, and uh, we'll see you later.